Janet Sinberg is the catalyst of the Fridays for Future movement. She's an icon of our time and has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. She traveled to New York City for this historic strike, riding in an emissionless boat and spending two weeks crossing the Atlantic Ocean. And now she is here with us today. What I, what I want to tell you about Greta Thunberg, though, is that she's the nicest, kindest, most humble person I have ever met. It is my honor to introduce Greta Thunberg. today in over 150 countries on all continents and when I say all continents I mean all continents even Antarctica even on Antarctica people are school today and this time we are not alone we have some adults 
who are not at work today either. And why? Because this is an emergency. Our house is on fire. And it's not just the young people's house. We all live here. It affects all of us. And we will not just stand aside and watch. We are united behind the science and we will do everything in our power to stop this crisis from getting worse. Even if that means skipping school or work. Because this is more important. Why should we study for a future that is being taken away from us? That is being stolen for profit. And some people say we should study to become climate scientists or politicians so that we can, in the future, solve the climate crisis. But by then it will be too late. We need to do this now. It seems like we have another... We have another situation. We need another medic. And, and what is the point of educating ourselves and learning the facts when the people in power refuse to listen to the educated and pay attention to the facts? Where I come from, things are very different than here. But when it comes to the climate and ecological emergency and the people in power, it is pretty much the same. In fact, everywhere I have been, the situation is pr more or less the same. The people in power, their beautiful words are the same. The number of politicians and celebrities who want to take selfies with us are the same. The empty promises are the same. The lies are the same. And the inaction is the same. Nowhere have I found any, anyone in power who dares to tell it like it is. Because no matter where you are, even that burden, they leave to us, us teenagers, us children. And this Monday, world leaders are going to be gathered here in New York City for the United Nations Climate Action Summit. The eyes of the world will be on them. They have a chance to prove that they, too, are united behind the science. They have a chance to take leadership, to prove they actually hear us. Do you think they hear us? No! We will make them hear us. for the adults and politicians to take selfies with us and tell us that they really, really admire what we do. <laughs> we are doing this to wake the leaders up 
We are doing this to get them to act. We deserve a safe future. And we demand a safe future. Is that really too much to ask? No! Right now, we are the ones who are making a difference. If no one else will take action, then we will. It should not be that way. We should not be the ones who are fighting for the future. And yet, here we are. But we are not just some young people skipping school or some adults who are not going to work. We are a wave of change. Together and united, we are unstoppable. This is what people power looks like. We will rise to the challenge. We will hold those who are the most responsible for this crisis accountable. And we will make the world leaders act. We can and we will. to that small group of people who feel threatened by us, then we have some very bad news for you. Because this is only the beginning. Change is coming, whether they like it or not. again everyone who are here and who and of course a special thank you to everyone who have been organizing all the local organizers who are here we'll give them an applause Just a reminder that next week, the 27th, we will also be striking in many different places. So uh, if you can, show up then as well. Thank you. We'll see you next week.